Blessings, Shalom fam. Welcome to the channel. For those who do not know, my name is Crystal. Welcome. Thank you for the new subscribers and your emails and your love and your support and your comments. Um, if you need any support or guidance um, with um, like how to to become closer with God and so on and so forth, you can email me at God's Kingdom Counselor at gmail.com. I will try to help you guys as much as I can, even for fellowship. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess the Lord is really working on me today. I have not had a break, but I'm not complaining because I I like spending time with him. Uh, so this, uh, dream that I got, uh, was on November 8th of 2022. Uh, he was, I'm trying to get, I was trying to get the, in, no, I have been getting the interpretation for about five hours today. And I finally got it, and I'm not going to go to bed without releasing this word. So I wanted to get it out of the way, even though if it's 11 o'clock p.m. So some of you guys might be in bed already and won't see it till tomorrow, but I need to get it out, okay? So the title of this word is going to be, Only Way to Have Life is Leaving Toxi Toxicity, okay? So I'm going to read the dream and then the interpretation of the dream. Okay. There was a piece of garlic wrapped on the bottom of my foot, trying to get rid of the toxins. I was with a man. I started packing my things, but it was only items like facial, facial cleanse scrubs, shampoo, things, cleaning items to wash yourself clean with. I then began to tell this man I was leaving. He was not sitting on the couch. I mean, he was sitting on the couch, falling asleep, sitting up. And I was started to think to myself, he doesn't even care. He's sleeping like that. I was not even being acknowledged. I didn't even feel anything towards this person. I didn't even know him. I've never seen him before. And I didn't even know his name. He was a total stranger to me. And I, then I woke up. That was the end of the dream. Now, I want to break it down to the the interpretation now before i get any further god um used this dream uh because it was a man i'm a female so this word could be for either a man or a woman but because i'm a woman god used a male figure in this uh, sense to get his message across okay so there was a piece of garlic wrapped on the bottom of my foot trying to get rid of the toxins the foot was toxic if it wasn't I never would have said that I needed garlic to get rid of the toxins in my body. In this case, the foot being toxic, meaning coming from a spirit of oppression. Knowing being oppressed in spirit has to come from someone in your life. It does not appear out of thin air. Someone must create it. Oppression works by uh, the powerful people that are violent, corrupted. They become more powerful at other people's expenses or expense. This is toxic. It is toxic in the body. It is a poisonous substance, toxic to your soul, your well-being in this case. The garlic was put under the foot. It is symbolic. This means to shield against demonic attacks, protection against harm, fear, and evil. Now, the Lord told me to look up about garlic, okay? Garlic has a definite antibiotic properties. It is effective against a, wild, a wide spectrum of bacteria, fungi, and viruses. It fights off the bad things from within. In this case, we're talking about it from a spiritual standpoint. This part, which amazed me, did you know that garlic helps support both your body, I mean your heart and your brain? God can only heal your heart and your brain. God can only remove the toxins out of your soul, your body, your mind, your will, and emotion. I was not obviously happy in this situation. I needed a way out. If I did not want to leave, I never would have started packing my bags, wanting to leave. There was this man. And as I started packing the, my things, I did not take my regular stuff with me. Yeah, I didn't take anything that was like to the norm, like how you would, you would normally take clothes with you, etc. Not in this case, I was taking um, things that to clean myself with like a facial scrub cleansers, shampoo, things like that, things to clean myself off um, from the dirt and the filth, whether if it's on my hair or body, whatever. 
Okay. Um, the man in the stream represents a soulish, a soulish man, the fleshly man, male aggression or violence, abuse of power, possessiveness, -ness, domination, control, Satan himself. In the stream, this man was oppressing due to the fact that I needed garlic to put it on my foot to get rid of the toxins. This person is a narcissist because they view all relationships as a struggle for dominance. They emotionally and perhaps also physically and sexually oppress, intimidate or and violate others to experience and maintain the feelings of power and control. Packing items such as facial cleansers, shampoos, things that cleanse the body. The facial cleansing scrub represents cleansing, sanctification, renewal, seeing things from a fresh and a new perspective. The shampoo represents cleansing your mind, spiritual cleansing, forgiveness of sins, repentance in confession, getting rid of the old to make way for the new. Renewing of the mind. Man, my back's getting all hot. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whoever this is for, let it speak to you. This can be a confirmation to somebody. The only way that you can heal from within is leaving that situation that you are in. No one can heal if they continue to be in this vicious cycle that is toxic to them both physically, mentally, and spiritually. In the dream, I chose to leave. I chose to pack my bags. I was not forced out of the situation this had been long overdue. I didn't even pack the clothing as somebody normally would. I was packing things to cleanse my body. Okay. Packing these items is what um, you're wanting healing. You're wanting a fresh start, having a new perspective on life, wanting to change your life, getting rid of the old and making way for the new. Telling this man that I was leaving as if, as he was falling asleep, sitting on the couch. Thinking to myself, he doesn't even care. Um, he um, did. No, sorry, he doesn't even care. He's sleeping like that. I was not even being acknowledged, um, which brought sadness to me. I didn't even feel anything towards this person. I didn't even know him or seen him before. I didn't even know his name. Again, this man was. Oh, there's a bug. That <laughs> this man was a stranger to me. There was no feeling whatsoever. This represents that this person is unresponsive to God. Or to the things of the world. Passivity, lack of clarity, indecision, idleness, failing to take appropriate action, being unalert, prone to attack, have worldly ambitions. This person is unwatchful, a slumbering spirit, slothfulness, which is being lazy, spiritual dullness. The feeling that I got towards this person was sadness, which means a godly concern becoming distressed in a very godly way and i got the scripture of 2 corinthians seven eleven, and it reads see what this godly sorrow has produced in you what earnestness what eagerness to clear yourselves with indignation indignation what alarm what longing what concern what readiness to see justice done at every point you have proved yourself to be innocent in this matter this man being a stranger to me meaning this man or person is an unbeliever with ill motive away from god those without regard for god a false shepherd so to speak you don't even know who they are anymore you absolutely feel nothing towards this person anymore they are a complete stranger to you they are of the world, but you are not of the world. You are unequally yoked. Again, whoever this word is for, take it back to God. You will know in your spirit. All I'm going to say in this is, we can't save anyone. Um, uh, they have to want it. Your life is more important, especially if you are a child of God. Your well-being is more important to God. He would never want someone to continue to be in a place that is toxic. Hence why God gave me this dream for somebody. So I hope this word was for somebody, reaches somebody. I know it can be very hard trying to, whether to know if you're doing the right thing or not and being in a bad relationship or being around people that are even could be family. I don't know. 
only you would know if this word is for you. But again, being around toxic people like that and you're wanting a way out. Um, God is God is speaking through this word. So whoever this is for, again, test the spirit and take everything I say back to God, whether if it's for you or if it isn't. But I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Have a blessed night. Bye. Shalom.